play the bagpipes, which is kind of cool. I have been piping for about nine years now. It's a part of my life and I don't see it stopping anytime soon, really. I'm glad to see that people are enjoying it when I do play. your music. How did you get into playing the bagpipe? Tell us a bit about yourself and how this came to be your passion. Oh, okay. So, uh, to start with, I have no Scottish heritage at all. <laughs> um, I am of Hungarian and Chinese descent, so no Scottish in there at all. Um, but um, the bagpipes have always been an instrument that I've found very intriguing. I'm not going to use the word interesting. Uh -huh, um, nice one. <laughs> so, um, as a young child, um, seeing pipers in parades um, was always super fascinating for me. I just I liked the music. I think um, my favorite song for a large part of my childhood was like a techno rave version of Scotland the Brave. So, I mean, that might have had also an influence. Um, but when I was, I think, about eight years old, I asked my mom, um, can I play the bagpipes? And, like, why not? It's, it's, it's an interesting passion, right? Um, and she said, like, yeah, okay, sure. She kind of took it as, like, okay, she's probably got a face. It'll pass, right? Um, well. My mom said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't pass, did it, Katie? <laughs> no, it didn't. So, like, about a year later or so, I asked her again, supposedly. I mean, I don't remember any of this. Um, but she said, she was like, oh, okay, so it's, it's not a phase. It's still... In your mind, okay. So she looked into it, and actually, at SFU, um, at the Burnaby campus, they have bagpipe lessons. So I was enrolled in a summer camp program for intro to bagpipes, uh, which didn't run. Um, but I'm still here because I um, I got enrolled in lessons in the fall, and have pretty much been playing with the organization um, for about nine years now. So, yeah, there we go. Amazing. Katie, thank you so much.